speaking of which, did you? Oh, yeah. Okay. Then there's the big controversy <laughs> that happened in Provo at a women's volleyball game last weekend. Uh, BYU hosted a tournament, which they won. Uh, they crushed everybody they played. Uh, and But they played Duke at one point, and supposedly there was an issue with somebody in the audience, somebody in the crowd yelling racial slurs at one of the Duke players every time she Rachel, served. It was Rachel Richardson, yes. Okay, so there's 5,500 people at this at this volleyball game. And one person is screaming racial slurs, and nobody does anything. Right. That doesn't add up to me. First of all, that I, I can't even fathom that happening at not BYU. Not in today's world. Not, and not at BYU. Not they don't, in today's world. I've never seen it. I've never heard of it happening at a BYU event. Plus, uh, without anything else happening at all, this has happened multiple times. Uh, what what has their the, claim? Yes. Oh, you're they, kidding. That, you know, so they've claimed that people it, yelled at her before. this game. Yeah, the, no, this person oh. hollered <clears throat> racial oh, yes. slurs multiple, multiple times, times throughout yes. the game. Yes, because every time she served, she was supposedly hassled like that. And no one. And no one did anything. There, there's no video. There's no audio. I mean, well, it, what are you going to take video with? I mean, it's so hard to get video nowadays. Are you going to carry the big cameras around? No, nobody's doing that. And they are, were the games <laughs> televised at all? Because they were there was a tournament, right? For uh-huh. for, there was a tournament for women's volleyball. Yes, if I'm not mistaken. And women's volleyball is very big at so BYU. They don't, they don't cover that. No, they don't cover they don't, that. They don't record athletic events. And no, certainly nobody took a phone where you could. I mean, phones are for calling people and talking to them. They're not recording devices. <laughs> Am I right? Yes. This is 1992, Hello. right? Hello, it's 1992. Right, yeah. So it was suspicious from the very beginning. Yes. Where uh, th- the first thing I thought is, this didn't happen. It's uh, another of those too. Houses. It didn't and, happen. And John Ziegler, our, our friend, uh had been all over the. He started a, a Twitter thread because of the story, because he, like us, was skeptical. Said, um, mm, that "Doesn't make doesn't sense. Sound right." Here's so, here's what he said. Here's what we're apparently supposed to believe about what happened in the racist BYU Duke volleyball incident. A white man repeatedly used a racial slur, possibly the N word. That's what we're led to believe. Yes. yes to heckle a black Duke player and threatened her in front of a large crowd. Right. Uh-huh. So, okay. so they threatened her le- by saying, I'll see you at the bus or something yes, to that effect. Watch, watch yourself. Yeah, watch yeah. your back as you go to the bus. Somehow, he writes, this outrage was allowed to go on and no one made any effort to videotape it because after all, BYU is mostly white racist. So this is what is expected. Yes. Uh, also, the racist just happened to target a player who, based on her Twitter, is very convinced we're a racist country and has a godmother who is running for political office who was able to make this a very public issue by dramatically tweeting about it. Though it's unclear if she was actually there, she wasn't. But oddly, both of them seem to be perfectly fine with the racist somehow not yet being publicly outed or shamed huh. even though they and the whole duke team apparently would have no problem identifying them of course the white kids at byu are all protecting the racist uh, which would not happen you know it wouldn't happen no somebody way. in that audience is gonna say what are you doing man stop it and and security which was there would have ushered them out yes BYU has bent over backwards to condemn what happened, but without any re- real details of the matter. I hope this answers any questions you have about this horrible <laughs> incident, which has absolutely uh, zero red flags and all makes perfect sense, which is why the always reliable news sport media are running hard with this narrative, confident that nothing could possibly be wrong with it. Right. And they, they it didn't happen.